the razor blade method. You've probably run into numerous ways on how to do this, but this is how to do it if all you have is razor blades and a chuck drill. Now the chuck drill is important because if you don't have like a torque wrench, you can set it to where it slips at a certain tightness, if you will. So as you can see, I have a Vortex Strike Eagle here, and these are some loophole scope rings, very low mounted. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the razor blades underneath the scope and then push down and that'll automatically align the scope to the rail. If you look down the scope at this point, it should be completely flush. So now what you're gonna do, since you got this mounted up, if you've ever tightened down some rims on a car, that's exactly what you're gonna do here. You're gonna start on one end, set it for your weakest, you know, on the one, and then do it in a diagonal pattern. So if you start off in the right corner, then you should go to the top left, okay? And then from there, you oppose, so go to the top right, and then from there, of course, the final screw, unless you have six screws, and then that, that's a little bit different at that point. Again, I'll show you in this back portion. Bottom right, top left, top right, bottom left. Then at this point, your scope's not gonna twist anymore. You can remove the razor blades from underneath. Okay, so bye-bye razor blades. Now we're gonna tighten it up again. So now from here, you do a couple clicks and then you do the same thing until you determine it's tight enough. Start in the bottom right, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, top left, top right, bottom left. Maybe you can make a song out of it. And then just continue the pattern. Now this is more or less a method I would use only if I didn't have a torque wrench. But I wanted to show this to you guys because this is probably a little bit better way than just doing it by hand tight and kind of guessing where you are because at least this will slip at a certain point and not let you continue to tighten it. On my particular drill, I usually go around seven or nine. That's good enough for me. So there you have it. Your scope should be on pretty tight now. It's not gonna go anywhere. It's also level to your rail system. If you're using higher scope rings, you can use higher razor blades. And the reason why I use razor blades is because they're cheap. You can get a huge pack of them for, for nothing. And they're pretty flat. And they're thin enough to where you can stack them so you can get pretty close to the height you need. Anyway, have a good day. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in a future video.